Let's get started on today's notes over writing equations of lines. And today we're going to be writing the equation of a line when we're given the slope and a point on the line. And so I'm going to introduce you to a new form of a linear equation, a new formula, if you will. And this is called point slope form. Obviously, we're going to use it when we're given a point and the slope of the line. And here's what it looks like. And it says a line with slope m that contains the point x sub 1, y sub 1 can be represented by the equation. I take y and I subtract y sub 1, so whatever that y value is, equals m times, open parentheses, x minus x sub 1, that x value of the point. So let's look at this first example. Write an equation in point slope form for the line with the given slope that contains the following point then convert to slope intercept form. So we're gonna write the equation of the line that has a slope of 1 half, that's my m, and then it passes through the point for five, so x sub one, y sub one. So let's just plug those in to my formula, y minus y sub, y sub one. So y minus the y value equals the slope, which is 1 half times x minus the x value, which is four. And that's all you have to do, but actually we're gonna convert this to slope intercept form, which means I need to get y all by itself. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of these parentheses on the right side of my equal sign. So I'm gonna distribute this one half into each term. So y minus five equals one half x minus two. And now what do I need to do to get y all by itself? I'm gonna add five. And notice I write it under the negative 2 because that is the term that is alike with 5. It's a constant, so 1 half x, negative 2, and positive 5 makes positive 3. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. So let's look at the next several examples. Let's look at number 1, and we're going to do the exact same process. Okay, so I'm given the point on the line is 2, 2, and it has a slope of negative 3. So referring to your formula, point slope form, y minus, and you know what I should probably do? I should probably label this x1, y1. So y minus 2 equals, I'm going to put my slope there, which is negative 3 times x minus the x value. And then I'm going to get y all by itself. So y minus 2 equals, I'm going to distribute this negative 3 into each term on the inside of the parentheses. So negative 3x plus 6. And then to get y all by itself, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. That gets rid of it on the left. Negative 3x plus 8. Let's move on to number 2. I have a slope of 1 half and it passes through the point negative 6, 2. So there's my x sub 1, y sub 1. So if I'm writing this equation in point slope form, y minus 2 equals my slope is 1 half. Here's what you have to be careful of. And I'm actually going to write it out long ways. But x minus, what is the x value? Negative 6. A lot of students forget to do that. And some of my students actually um, go ahead and skip that step and they end up just writing this, x plus six. And now let's convert this to slope intercept form by getting y all by itself. So I'm gonna distribute this one half, y minus two equals one half x plus three. And then I'm gonna add two to both sides. And I get y equals one half x plus five. And now let's move on to number three. I have a slope of two and it passes through the point negative one, zero. So y minus zero equals what comes next? Slope of two, x minus negative one. And I'm gonna write that over here. X minus negative one would look like what? X plus one. One. So be really, really careful when you have points or coordinates that have negative values because in your formula, you're subtracting. 
So then y minus 0, that's just y. And then I'm going to distribute this 2 into each term on the inside of the parentheses. So I get 2x plus 2. And now let's move on to number 4. Slope of 1 fourth, it passes through the point 12, negative 3. So y, y minus negative 3 would be what? y plus 3 equals slope of 1 fourth x minus 12. That's how that should go. And then what do I do to convert it to slope-intercept form? I need to distribute this 1 fourth. So y plus 3 equals 1 fourth x, and then what's a fourth of 12? 3, so minus 3. And then I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. Again, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause it, rewind it, whatever you need to do. So 1 fourth x, be careful here, negative 3 and negative 3 makes negative 6. So that's minus 6. And that concludes your notes over writing equations of lines day one when you're given a, the slope and a point on the line. I hope it was helpful.